Fellas, as you uh, recall, we had just finished customizing this trailer last fall, and then uh, Junior had a little uh, accident, a little glitch, and hit the fence over there and ripped the side off the trailer here in the door. So we are going to be uh, oh my god injuring ourselves on the job. That'll be a conflict for dislocating my shoulder. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, Tina. This is this video is for you. Uh, you wanted to measure the door. Mario almost killed me. So, uh, this is what happens around here. Never go oh on. my so god! What we have to do is replace the door. And what else do we have to do? We have to replace this panel, this panel, this this in here. Yeah. So this is Mario's last day today, and he tried to kill me for torturing. I know, torture. Mario. So we got a rough opening here of 37 and a half, right? Uh, I think it was 37 and 7 eighths. 37 and 7 eighths? Okay, let me, let me get the paper here. We actually measured this. We had it off yesterday, and then Tina said she needed a, a picture of the opening here. So um, it is 37 and 7 eighths at the most narrow point from here to here, 37 and 7 eighths. And it is 76 and three quarters. Guys, we're ordering the door from Challenger Door. They're uh, probably the number one door vendor right now. Um, so as you can see, that's 76 and three quarter at the most smallest part of the opening. Isn't that correct? So the other thing we wanted to show you, Tina, is this actual lip right here. I don't know if they're all like that, but it has a, a lip right here like that. And then it has a, um, it's almost like a door frame. It sits door, in and a, it screws in. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It sits, sits in and then screws in. So let me get you some close ups of that. Oh it's got like a door, a door frame. I don't know if that helps you. Um, so challengerdoor.com. If you want to get a new door for your trailer, we're got, we got, we got dealt some lemons here. Junior gave us a lemon. We're going to make lemonade out of it. We're going to upgrade the door and put a window in it with a camper window that slides open and closed. Why would we do that? Well, it's also set up on the inside. We got a big queen size bed in here. Uh, we got a, a ceiling vent and escape hatch. We got lights. And we also set it up with a 12 volt fan up here. Brand new fan and the whole inside set up. We got our um, umbrellas and uh, chairs and awning and uh, drinks and stuff for at the track and cabinets for all the gear so it's all set up really nice and including the e-track on the floor is that pace 36 foot fifth wheel trailer um, we did a real nice job customizing the inside of it and then junior smashed it before I ever got a chance to use it so kind of got a little resentment over that but I'll get over it um, I guess so it's kind of like when Mario went to bike week and came back a month later Bike month. <laughs> we never yeah. had a good time. Yeah, we never let you forget that. <laughs> did, did I stayed you? in Florida until my dirt bike blew up, and then I came back to work. You ran out of money, huh? <laughs> so, that's the opening. That's the size of the door. We'll text you the measurements. If you have any questions, give me a call, please. Hopefully, this is uh, going to help you figure out exactly what door we need. This was beyond repair, as you can see. It is definitely messed up, but you can see how thick it is. It's like two seven with the lip. Oh. Inch and seven eighths. It really is a perfect trailer for hauling motorcycles, and we set it up specifically with all the accessories you'd want, the tie downs, the e track. We even bought from Pit Pal Products and uh, this um, jack holder for on the wall. Brand new spare tire holder and spare tire. It's set up with 110 and 12 volt lighting with a battery in the front. This side of the trailer, the whole trailer was repainted a couple years ago, so it's got a beautiful paint job on it. We polished all the aluminum. Me and my daughter Jordan and Squirrel washed and waxed and polished the whole trailer, even polished the walls on the inside. Put brand new Goodyear, six brand new Goodyear tires on it and polished the aluminum on the floor. We spent about three weeks polished all this aluminum in the front here I mean it was it was absolutely perfect and ready to go you can see it has both the uh, manual jacks and then it's got a, a uh, electric jack right here 
I just put a brand new battery in there yesterday, so we're gonna we're gonna make her brand new again, and then Christy's gonna put some graphics on it, I think. We even got um we even put flag holders on the back here. It's got a, a camp backup camera right there. Um, so we can put two American flags on here, and if you're going to Mid Ohio or Laconia or Daytona, or if you're just on the open road and you need a place to pass out, it's got the full bed up here with the uh, ceiling vents. And of course, we're going to put a camper window in here so it'll make it even more feel like a camper when you're in here. These actually fold down. These are chairs. These fold down like that. So you can sit down there. And that folds down to a table. So you can sit right here while you're eating your lunch if you want to. <laughs> or, or you can use it as, as a step to get up in there. And it also has, and it also, is, I have a winch set up here. It's hooked up right to the battery and the winch goes in the floor right here. This little panel comes out so you can winch a car up in here and we've used it before. We've actually winched up a couple of antique cars into here. And it's got the 110 volt lights and the 110 volt load lights. So plenty of light at the nighttime for at the track. It's going to be a great day in Rockville. I almost got killed but uh, by the door. But not today, Satan. Not today. Thanks for watching and God bless America. Now we're going to put the door back in because it's going to take, unfortunately, we have an 8 to 10 week back order. But today, hey, before we put that back in, shouldn't we try to straighten out the broken metal? It's our other trailer project that... Uh, is ready for the open road, the feather light. If you remember, if you've been following us, you know we uh, hooked up the inside of that. So stay tuned. We'll give you a update on that. So we haul a lot of bikes. We haul on average about 150 bikes a month in and out. And uh, these are the tools of the trade. Got to have the right tools to get the job done. That's a dream trailer right there. 44 foot feather light.